Virgo, hello my loves and welcome back to the channel. Supreme gratitude for clicking on the video. Um, yeah, welcome to the channel. I think very briefly, for maybe like a month, sometime uh, last year, or the very beginning of this year, I brought on Virgo to read, but then I did a whole channel shift, so then I took everyone away. Um, but now you are in full, uh, full rotation on the channel, okay? Your days will be Thursdays, right along with Leo's, all right? If you are cross-watching for an Aquarius, or if you are dealing with an Aquarius, make sure you follow the backup page. We do Aquarius couples and Aquarius readings on the backup page, okay? So let's tap into your weekly energy. Let's find out what messages Spirit has for you. You can be Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or North Node. And happy birthday! You have wish. Your heart's desires is ready to come true. You have flowers. Be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. You have the world. Be open to new possibilities in all aspects, on all areas of your life. So, I feel like you've been manifesting something. You've been in deep manifestation here about something. But in order to get what it is that you are manifesting, you need to be generous. Okay? You need to be generous yourself. Success, success and emotional fulfillment, right? Emotionally, are you one with self? The world card is here. There's a cycle that's, that's coming to an end, and you need to be open to this cycle that's coming to an end. There's a shift that's about to happen in your life. Generally, major shifts during your, during your uh, birthday season. Yeah. Let's see what we have. Wish flowers and grow. Seven of Swords. Five of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. And the Emperor energy here. All right, that just got interesting. All right, so Virgo, what's happening here? You have deception and envy here. So, so the energy that I'm the energy that I'm getting just looking at your cards right now is there could have been. I mean, an energy is fluid, so reverse the roles as need be. But um, it's your reading, so I'm gonna read it for you. Just be mindful of that, okay? Um, there's some type of deception here. There, there's some 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 envy, some jealousy, something not going your way, something not panning out how you want it to be. So then, therefore, there was deception that that was caused here. Okay, there was someone, there was someone not vibrating in their highest frequency. Someone being sneaky about something that triggered an emotional loss. That triggered that triggered someone to leave. That triggered a situation to not be in the same energy that you're you're accustomed to. Someone emotionally redrawn their their feelings, you know, emotional, emo, emotional withdrawal that also le led you to financial loss. 
financial loss and, and, and the things that you have, you may have to move, you may have to give some things up. Now, someone is trying to restore balance within a connection here. This person could be the emperor energy, right? Could be fire sign, doesn't have to be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But it all started with deception and envy. Okay, let's clarify the seven of swords for the collective of Virgo, Asha. Yeah, there you go. Lovers, page of swords. Someone couldn't see someone else's vision. Someone loved someone so much that they felt as though they would impose their own thoughts and wills, will on someone else. Going against what someone else wanted. Be mindful that when we join into a connection, when we join into a relationship with someone, right? You have your path, they have their path. Then you guys create a path. When you start wrapping your entire existence around someone else, it's going to you're, you're you're signing up for destruction because you got to have your own way and if you don't have your own way, right? Then you're lost, right? So in order to be happy, you have to be happy within self. No one else can make you happy. So it's like th this is the lovers card but 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 early on you had an agenda. Let's clarify the five of cups for the collective of Virgo. I should. Reverse the role as need be. But it's a divine connection. We're going to see what type of connection it was. That it is. Yeah. You got the Hierophant here. And you have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Some of you guys could be dealing with, you got Taurus energy here. You got Gemini energy here. Doesn't mean this person has to be. They can have it in a prominent placement in their chart. But you were so focused on the connection, the longevity. How can you keep them around? How can you keep this in your life that you wasn't handling your business? You wasn't secure within yourself. You wasn't you wasn't aligning this. You know, you, you was too focused on what they was doing that you wasn't on your shit. You got you got derailed because you got caught up within something. Let's clarify the five of pentacles for the collective of Virgo, I should. I'm getting your overall message is that, you know, going through this energy, you're hoping to move past this. You're hoping to get on a different page. You're hoping to, you know, move past this anguish. You know, I, I'm feeling, you know, like somber, right? And your wish is being granted. You are moving past this, but of course, karma has to be repaid. You know, lessons have to be learned, and then you will move past this. Five of Your five of pentacles, you're taking a loss financially, you know, you're taking a loss materially, you know, one or the other or both. You have the high priestess in reverse here, all right? So someone here, you know, completely just, <laughs> you know, whoever you're dealing with, they could definitely be in, you know, the spiritual aspect of things in the high priestess energy. This could be you. You were not vibrating in your proper energy. You were not trusting your instinct. You were not going with the flow. You were not understanding that the only thing that you can, the, the, the two things that you can't change is birth and death. 
but you can change the things within. You didn't understand that you can only do that for your life and not someone else's. Now you're trying to go in to offer, you know, love, trying to mend things after a tower moment. The world card is there after an ending. You're trying to restore balance after this ending because you didn't get the outcome that you thought you would get because you oh, just you just stopped thinking about what's ha what what the outcome would be and you got caught up in trying to make something go your way. Let's clarify the two of pentacles for the collective of Virgo. I should. You were not trusting the process. You got you got tricked by the Ajagoon energy. <laughs> Yep. There you go. You're trying to restore balance. You want love to come back in. This could be someone else to you. They want love to come back in. You are their wish fulfillment. If they messed up with you, you are their wish fulfillment. I feel like if you messed up with them, your wish fulfillment is to restore balance and restore love. Let's look at this emperor here. Let's clarify the four. Let's clarify the emperor. So what, what will happen here? What will happen moving forward? That's what you ask yourself, Virgo. What will happen moving forward? Whoever fought this was. What what will happen if you guys get back together? Because what I'm seeing here. Mm, it got juicy. So because of this separation, what I'm seeing here. Is someone is like, no, 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 you know, you know, somebody wants this new beginning and there's going to be someone that's going to move forward. But with the full energy, you didn't really resolve the issues. You just wanted the outcome that you wanted. Okay. So you went from one outcome to having another outcome, right? The one outcome here is, is getting something to align, getting this person to marry you, uh, Figuring out where you stand in this person's life to it crumbling and you now the outcome is to bring in balance again, right? And, and in bringing in this balance, did you forget about the original outcome, right? With the full energy, just boop, 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 let's, let's figure this out. Somebody just doesn't want to be defeated. Somebody just doesn't want to be alone. Somebody just doesn't want to feel like they did not win. But the problem still exists. Now... You're telling someone, hey, you got a you got a choice to make. Could be a third party situation. Are you gonna choose that situation? What are you gonna do? Okay, karmic justice here. Wheel turning. Someone is not removing their energy. Someone, someone is not. <laughs> Someone is not removing their energy. But then someone is like, you know what? I don't want to be sneaky about this. I don't want to be sneaky about this. This person, you know, you may feel as though, well, if you're not going to, you're telling them, if you're not removing your energy, then I'm going to be by myself. You know, I know my value. I know my worth. I know what I can do. Okay? But you're missing the fact. Right, because now that you've got the balance, you're trying to go back and you're communicating. You know, you're, you're like, I'm gonna triumph over this. I want this love. I want this. I want what I want when I want it. The the love and the connection and the happy family. Someone isn't going within, so you're still in the same energy. Boom, still here. Still just 
wounded, pressing something to go in your favor, in your direction, going extremely hard, still giving into something. Maybe you need the financial help or, or, or you're pressing just to make sure that they help you financially here. Like, let's get on the same page. Let's do what we need to do. Like, like, all, like somebody here is like, all I know is I want what I want. But the fact of the matter is you're not going to get this. You're not going to get exactly what you want out of this person. Whoever you're dealing with, look at their Venus sign. Look at your Venus sign. Is this person even capable of being with one person? See, the thing is, is that, you know, in America, you guys are Americanized thinking that monogamy is something that everybody is suited for. And it's not. And you're trying to use tactics to get someone to deal with you and only you or get someone to, to move in your favor and it's not working. And hence, you are getting sidetracked on what it is that, that you're doing because the only thing that's happening is this person is going to switch up their energy on how they do what they do, right? You know, like we say, forcing somebody to lie to you. Forcing a lie. You, you, you get, you get it, you misinterpret someone saying, okay, I like you, okay, we built something to, with, oh, this person can't live without me, right? We all have our journey, we all have our own independent journeys, we all have our own paths. So what you establish with someone is what you establish with them. But whoever this person is, there's definitely a third party in the mix. And they're going to continue. I, I mean, I'm telling you now, this is your first reading back on the page. I'm pretty sure this energy will pop back up. You know, you being sneaky, you being deceptive, you know, you're envious of whoever else. But it's going to keep going, right? How you get someone is, is, is basically what the outline is going to be within a particular connection. All right, let's look at Virgo's finances this week, Spirit. I share. So Virgo, you need to come up with a one-year plan. You will see good money at that time. You have the magician here speaking abundance into existence, planning new career or business positive thoughts towards abundance. First thing that I looked down and caught my eye was spell work. <laughs> Don't tell me y'all trying to manifest somebody doing what y'all doing or doing something else. Because listen, let me tell you something. Whenever you put black magic, look, look how I was trying to slide out my hand. Whenever you put any type of energy like that, I don't care what your position is. I don't care what you doing. Whenever you put any type of energy like that out in the universe... When you are trying to force something to go against the, the divine will to go in your favor, it's going to come back to you. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you do. I don't care how long you've been doing it. You, 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 you probably catching hell for that. There's no way. I, I gave an example. Um, I gave an example in one of my other uh, class or something like that. I gave an example here, but here's uh, here's my example to this. You're with somebody and it's a divine connection for you. Somebody else comes in to this person's life and it's a divine connection for them. You don't just have one divine connection and you cannot dictate or determine when someone else, when someone comes in your life, if they're 
you know, if they've met all of their soulmates, if they've met all of their divine connections. You can't dictate or determine that. That is solely on spirit, okay? So you're with this person and you just know how you feel. And when something is 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 bothering the connection, you run the juju, okay? And if I, you know, you should not do juju, all right? So you go run the juju, or you go run to some people that you know that knows how to do some type of juju, and you go and you separate this connection, right? But it's a divine connection, you know. No, no man shall come between, you know, what spirit has aligned. So you're not knowing that's a divine connection. The only thing that you know is that the bond between you and this person is so strong that you want this bond, you want this connection, right? But when you did this juju, when you went to do the black magic and when you went to do the spell work, you actually were sending it to a divine connection. And so therefore, or you've had somebody say, yeah, it's okay to do it. Anybody that tells you it's okay to do juju, they're fraud. Especially to do juju based upon separating someone else without going to get the proper authority for that, right? And so what this is, is like, yes, you and this person have a divine connection, but they had a divine connection with someone else. And I assure you that no one could have approved you to do juju on that connection because you guys both have divine connections. Hence, everyone is not created to be monogamous, okay? So things messed up in your energy because that's the energy that you put out. Things messed up within your connection, right? So yes, this person very well may come back to you, but they're not going to stop doing what they're doing. So that's the moral of the story. This person is going to always do what they do. This person is not a person of monogamy, whoever you're connecting with, all right? I just want you to know that. Now, you can click the description box below and book a personal reading. This is not a personal reading, right? But if it resonates and you know in your spirit, them juices is boiling, you're getting butterflies, you understand this feeling, that what I'm saying is, is you're reacting to it, it's your person, Right? This person is not created to be monogamous. So when I said in the reading, what are you going to do, Virgo? You have to understand that dealing with this person, you will not be dealing with this person alone. You cannot go and try to conjure up a spell to do something because that comes back. And the thing about pushing pushing energy out there, spell work, having somebody else go do it, you do it, is that when it comes back, it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to come back on you. It can come back on your children. Understand me. You could be stuck with somebody and be miserable for the for the time to come, not getting the energy that you wanted, trying to get back to the place that you originally had when you thought that something was going your way. If this person is dealing with somebody else now, they've always been dealing with somebody. It's just you're finding out about it, right? So it's not about looking at a person in some type of way or saying that you got a dog or this, that, and the other. Monogamy is something that was pushed on people here in America. And America is what one of the youngest countries. If not the youngest, you know what I'm saying, youngest youngest country, right? People did not live within monogamy, not because it was the old times, the X, Y, and Z hill. Times are harder than anything now, right? With with the ratio between men and women, right? So so I don't know, but pay attention to the signs and symbol signs and symbolisms from the universe. Okay, watch from the watch for the signs. All right, someone. May be getting arrested here, so be mindful of your energy. Don't put yourself in any type of energy and be mindful of the people around you, okay? Um, codependency relationship, dun dun dun, there it goes. Somebody is very dependent on a connection with somebody else emotionally, financially, you know, it, it was there. So at the end of the day, you know, hey, you better get in where you fit in, man, and, and let the tides roll. <laughs> you may be having out of body experiences right now. Okay, there could be a new job or a new business that someone is starting. Okay, you're hired. If you apply for a job somewhere, um, you will get the job. All right. Uh, someone wants forgiveness here. All right. Whether you be you or your person, someone wants to apologize. They want forgiveness. All right. Finding your life purpose. Yes. Right. Heavy on that, Virgo. Figure out what you need in your life. You can't, you can't bandwagon somebody else. You got to have your own lane and then they have their own lane. And then you guys can either come to come together and create a lane, but you got to have something about yourself. All right. Your life is about to have an upgrade. All right. So be mindful of that. Now, I like, like, like now I'm getting an energy that someone wants forgiveness from you, but then like by you conjuring up, if you walked away from this person, okay, if this was you walking away from this person after all of these things have happened, um, so I'm specifically speaking to that collective, somebody new is coming into you. 
Okay? Somebody somebody completely different and you're like, I don't want nobody else. This person is going to come in and the energy that you're going to feel with this person is going to be like no other because this person is sick. They're divinely guided to you. Okay? Sexual fantasies. Someone's been having sexual fantasies about you. All right? Um, whoever that is. The grass was greener because it was fake. Because it was fake, you know? Um... This could be you choosing to deal with someone else. It could be them, you know, uh, choosing. So, I don't know. For some of you guys, this is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that you got into this you got into this connection or this relationship with somebody that you really loved and adored. And, and it was a divine connection. So, that's why you had to entertain that connection, right? But there was somebody else from your past. And you thought that this person here that you had been with was better than what you were doing, dealing with in your past. But some of you guys are sitting back thinking like, shit, I went through this with such and such, you know, and they treated me better and the respect was there. And it was this, this, that, other. You're realizing that a connection you chose was not what you truly wanted. Someone needs to see a therapist, right? So always go talk to somebody. Somebody that you don't know is even better. Leveling up. Okay, you're leveling up in life. You got upgrading, you got leveling up, Virgo. So pay your dues, you know, learn your lessons. Don't don't be the one sending juju to nobody. Deal with what you got to deal with. And I feel like moving, moving beyond, like some of you guys are moving past this connection to someone new. But 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 the heavy energy that that I'm getting, some of you guys are like we're in a relationship for a while with somebody, and then you're going to reconcile. With somebody that you, you didn't really see their value because you thought it was something better. And this person came into your life and you felt like it was it was it, it was everything, right? And you're realizing that it's not. Right? Yeah, up oh, I'm telling you, this relationship is magical and meant to be. Okay? Cuffing season. So you're going to end up in a relationship with someone around winter time. If you guys separated with someone now. Do your work, do your healing, get yourself around winter time. You're gonna enter you're gonna look look, that's your person. There's gonna be a relationship with somebody, right? The grass was greener because it was fake. I feel like it's gonna be somebody like if, if you just got whoever you just got out of a relationship with is not that person. It's gonna be somebody that was before them that you thought that you could do better. Like that's that's what I'm getting. Purify your energy and your aura. Uh yeah, blockages and obstacles. <laughs> Yeah, you know, so you got to pay this karma back, you know, you got to, you got to pay this back, you know, yeah, someone is not who they appear to be, right, so, so, you know, you fell for somebody, you, you was, you, you was in love, but they wasn't who they appeared to be, it was a lot of, a lot of lies, a lot of, a lot of energy that wasn't conducive with what you thought it would be, right, and, and it happened, so you, you move on, like, with it. I could go back and deal with what I'm familiar with, you know, before I deal with that, but, Ask yourself, how long did it take you to realize that? You know, was it a couple of months? Was it a year? Was it two years? You know, you you know, I, I feel like pay attention to the energy. Maybe some of you guys put in a lot of work to fight for a connection. Um, and, and you drug it out longer than it should have, right? And now you just know, like, okay, I just got to give in. I got to do what I got to do, right? All right, uh, Shay, make sure you like the video, Virgo. Uh, drop a comment below if it resonates or just put hashtag God Squad, G-A-W-D Squad. Hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to all so you can be notified when I upload another video. Peace.